good afternoon, my lovers. I am back out, and I'm back out with the Horde Hunter. But before I get going, I'm just gonna have a rest because I've been wandering around with it. And I'm gonna have a cup of coffee, and I'm gonna go and take, uh, I've been, with the Horde Hunter, I'm gonna go and take you over to this place where I've got some signals, I've got some signals, and they, some of them sound really good. So, uh, I'm gonna have a quick cup of coffee. And then I'm going to wander off to this place where I've got about four or five signals. So uh, we could have a horde. A horde. <laughs> Hopefully. And uh, oh, a nice black coffee. I forgot to put the milk in. Oh well. I might have to wait for it to cool down a bit. Ow! Drop it on me leg. <laughs> and then we're going to go off. I'm going to first of all detect with the uh, horde hunter. I've got me headphones today. I forgot. I remembered them. So I got my headphones, but well, we're not going to do it with the headphones, obviously you won't hear anything. So I'll take you over with the camera and we'll, I'll show you the signals. Well, the best one first, and it sounds really good, it sounds deep as well, so it's a, you know, it's a possibility that we could have a horde. And then I'll show you the other signals. One of the signals is slightly annoying, I don't think I'll be able to get to it. <laughs> not, not unless uh, this, this tree falls over in about uh, the next uh, 30 years. And it don't look like it's going to fall over anytime soon because it looks like it's been there for at least 500 years. Ugh, yeah, I think this one's impossible to get to. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I got some great signals and I'm going to have this coffee, like I said, and uh, we're going to have a look at them right now. Oh, look at this here. This tree's gone over in a storm. And there it is, look, crunch. Been there for a few hundred years, methinks. Anyway. I got a signal right at the base of this here tree. Just down here. And it's a deep signal. I'll turn on the machine and I'll let you listen. Right, it's quietened it down a touch. Right, so it's just here. Now what you do to pinpoint is you get it close to the and then you press in the little button getting a bit closer again now in order to get the depth I got it all the way back out so we know roughly where it is, just below that little stinging nettle. Now the moment you start hearing it, is the depth. So there we are, about a foot from the stinging nettle. So it's about, it should be about a foot deep. Right, let's go and look at the next target. Right, here's the next target, but look at the tree. It's a monster. And obviously when this horde was planted, planted, buried, <laughs> Uh, the tree was probably a lot smaller, but now... It's right in amongst the tree. Oh dear, I could have a hoard of thousands of gold coins and I can't get to it. I'll dig around a little bit into the soil, but it's looking doubtful. <laughs> oh, I just have to wait for the tree to blow over in about 300 years. Oh, this one's a bit more promising. I think this is shallow, this one. Now, this is shallow, so I don't know what this could be. It could be a Coke can or something. But there's a signal slightly above it as well. Now, that 
could be the main horde because that's a bit louder. Right, let's depress the button. A bit, depress it again. Again. So it's right there. Now I'll take it all the way out, depress it. The moment you start to hear it, yeah, just slightly under maybe 10, 12 inches deep. Just under a foot deep. So that's that next target, plus the one down the bottom. It could be, it could be a load of coins that have rolled off down, down, down to here, because this is a bank. This is an earth bank. I'm not going to show you too much of it, but I'm down standing at ground level and there's the bank going up there. And uh, if you ever go and see your bank manager, what you need to do is ask him, uh, why are banks called banks? It's because the, the reason they're called banks is because people hundreds of years ago used to bury their money in them. So that's a possible signal there. Right, let's go and have a look at the next signal. Right, here's my next potential hoard. Press the thing in again, again. So it's right there. Right now, take it all the way back out, depress it again, go in. About 10 inches. Right, so we've got four potential hordes. Now I'll go and get the CTX and uh, put it on maximum depth. And we'll see what these signals are. Hopefully they'll be like, I got no, uh, four hordes in one day. Oh yeah, I got, well, uh, oh, the fine zip liaison officer's going to be freaking out. Right, here we are. I got the CTX. And we're going to see what it is. Hopefully it's a hoard of 50,000 gold coins. Hmm. Doesn't sound very promising. Let's put the volume up a bit. Of course, it could be in, inside a box, a steel box. Ooh, that says zero inches. So I probably got the depth a bit wrong. Right, let's dig it and see what it is. something hard. Oh. Oh. <coughs> it's one of them. It's one of them. That's off a rotted gate, isn't it? The gate's rotted away and left that. Like a hinge type thing. Ugh, I wanted a hoard, not a piece of cack. Right, let's go on to the next one. Here's the next one. Hmm, definitely sounds irony. But it's a little bit off, it's not up here a bit, not down in the corner. Right. Ah, oh, that's too bombed. I'm not, it's starting to look a bit unlikely now, isn't it? Right, let's go and have a look at the next target. Oh, this one sounds better. Could have a horde. It could really have a horde. Mm. 
Now what you got to do, if you want a pinpoint, you get your pinpointer and you you raise it about a foot off the, well, a few inches off of the soil to where you think the target's going to be and then you depress the pinpointer. And that's it right there. So I mark that one. Heel. Right, and just have a look at that up there. <laughs> I reckon I got a horde. Oh, cross your fingers and toes. Right, it's going to be a bit awkward. The wind's getting up, which is a bit of a pain. Um, and I'm going to try and set the camera up a bit further away and dig it because it's it's on a bit of a slope and it's. Uh, a bit awkward being on a bit of a bank. But I might dig this one here first. I whack anything. Right. Oh. Oh. Well, it's a bit of a ways from the from the hole. Unless that was the original signal I was getting. Just there. Excuse me, Mr. Beetle. Oh. Hopefully it's not gonna be cack. Oh! All that digging for cack. Oh, what's that? Crunch. Looks a bit irony. No. Oh, there it is. It's one of them pesky things. Oh, I wanted a hoard, not a chunk of iron. Right. Oh. Right, let's see what that other signal was, but it's looking doubtful now. Oh, what a letdown. I thought we had an ord then. And the other signal was a file. Or, you know, a file for filing metal. Oh, what a letdown. Right, I better go and check the last signal. Hopefully that's going to be a hoard. And the last signal was a horseshoe. Oh. Yeah, a pesky horseshoe. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I was hoping for a, a hoard of uh, 50,000 gold coins today. But uh, it's not look, look, looking lightly. And I might have to pull the plug soon because I had a puncher on the way here. Uh, and uh, I put the green guns in, as you do. Pumped it up. And then uh, it worked. It got me here. And I've just checked the pesky tyre and it's flat as a pancake, so I might have to pull the plug early. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna have to go down to the shops and get a new tyre, he thinks. That's the, I've had two or three punches now on that wheel, so I better go and get a new one. That's gonna cost. I was hoping a horde might end up paying for it, but uh, it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Oh, yeah. Flat as a pancake. Oh. oh, it's such a nice day. Yeah, I'm not going to risk it, you know, because I don't want to be pedaling home in the dark. You know, with all my gear on the bike, I'd rather be moving, you know, a lot of expensive gear. You know, easy enough to get stopped when you're walking rather than pedaling. I got this green gun that you put into the wheel, and it's supposed to stop it going flat again. But uh, obviously, it didn't work this time. So if it don't work again, hopefully, I might have to uh, invest in a new tyre and inner tube because it is, you know, it's going a bit. I've had it for a while, it's starting to go a bit smooth. So I might get a new tyre and inner tube, 
and uh, have done with it. But I do a lot of miles on my pedal bike. So, and don't say, oh, you need a solid rubber one, because I've, I've heard they're quite dangerous, you know, they, they, they're unstable. So, uh, and they are very expensive too. I've looked into, did look into the price. They are very expensive, hard, solid rubber. So uh, I'm going to just uh, pop off and, but this bigger bike, compared with the older bike, which is much smaller tyres, that was going punctures all the time. But this one, this, it, it doesn't seem to puncture as much. You know, bigger tyres, I suppose, stronger. So hopefully next time I go out, I got loads more bankage to do and loads of bumps and all over the place. You know, I can see loads of lumps and bumps all over the place from this point here. So uh, uh, next time I go out, hopefully I'll have a horde.